Whether you are watching live or archived, we need your help to keep fun going. You can subscribe to First Updates now on Twitch, give bits, or make a donation. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description on how you can help fun. All right, time for a new segment here on Candidly Speaking, and um, I got really inspired this week. Um, Tim Flynn in chat on the FRC First Updates Now Discord, you know, I asked for some suggestions for the show when he found an old thread on Chief Delphi, and I was like, wow, this thread is a train wreck. So our new segment is a look back at some of the greatest train wrecks in FRC history. In this segment, we're going to look back at an incident or a story from the past that will make all of us cringe and wonder what we or others were thinking about it at the time. And for everyone who's new to the program, just be like, man, people were like jaded, angry, and stupid back then. So I guess things haven't really changed. Um, since this segment is about train wrecks, we're going to be going to our favorite train wreck, ChiefDelphi.com, for most of our inspiration. So let's get started. This week, let's look at a thread called First in Michigan is Not first from 2008 this thread was started in response to the announce of the michigan district system which started playing in the 2009 season and its newly unveiled point system at this time technical awards were worth five points and non-technical awards were worth two points and people thought this was going to be the end of first i, I mean actually like i'm going to read some quotes from this thread if you're wondering if the people have always been hyperbolic on chief guess what they have the damaging long-term effects of this experimental pilot could take years to reverse. If those who are in charge of First in Michigan organization are to be the ones who evaluate the program, this catastrophe could continue on for years to come. What First in Michigan is doing will ruin the first program in Michigan. I do not doubt this for a second. I like the dramatic reading. Can I get the other one? Uh, yeah. Or do you want to do it? It's you. I, Right, let me, I just want to talk about how First in Michigan has ruined First. And this ruined? First, <laughs> ruined. They've gone from 125 teams to 500 teams. They are the driving growth in First. I, I, yeah. I just, I, I love reactions like this. Um, you can do the second one. No, it's okay. It's your, it's your segment. You can, you, I'll, I'll give you the, the option. Okay. To put it simply, First has sold out. They've exchanged their values and ideas for more money and exposure. Actually, you know, districts is cheaper, so they weren't even getting more money. They were getting a little bit less, but hey. Um, this thread is a great read and worth a few laughs. Um, in hindsight, it just looks completely ridiculous. Um, Libby, after reading through this thread, what were your thoughts on the thread? Also, like, just, just thinking about it, we, districts, this is going to be, you know, the 10 year anniversary of districts this season. So what are your thoughts on how oh. districts have played out compared to your initial feelings? Cause I think all of us had some hesitations. That is actually really hysterical. Like I didn't realize it was the 10 year of districts. Okay. So my first thing is I love reading old threads because it's like seeing people's like old opinions on stuff is always really fun. Uh, or embarrassing when I have had a stupid opinion in the past, which same definitely happened. I've you know? had many a stupid opinion in the past, um, and I've been called out on things, and I'll be like, yeah, I was dumb. Actually, when we, you and I were talking about this segment, Karthik, I will call myself out here. I was like, that's fine, but I would like to not use a thread where I say something dumb, because I was a very opinionated high schooler, except my opinions weren't always very good. Uh, <laughs> so I would really appreciate if my, like, my history was not pulled forward here but like here's a great example there are there are folks who now in this like in in threads in 2017 2018 are pushing and pushing and pushing for a district system um and <laughs> want it to happen i i wasn't gonna react to it yet karthik but who were sitting here going like this is ridiculous this is gonna change culture what karthik is currently laughing about is that my very own husband posted, I bet you'll have stupid opinions in the future, too. <laughs> so, um, in new news, There's so Tyler, many ways you can change the name on here if you want. Uh, <laughs> 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 if you can just, like, delete those. La anyway, I find it so interesting that people... No, I'm kidding. Don't actually do it. <laughs> I see you opening the editor. Um, the <laughs> Okay, now that we fully derailed this train... Um, I find it candidly speaking, Libby and Eric's marital distraught. No, this is not TMZ of robots. We are not having this discussion here. <laughs> Districts 
just got I the thought divorce. The relationship really, the, the reason it went downhill is because she scuffed my Jordans uh, six <laughs> years ago. That's probably the source of this. Eric knows how terrible that was, and he's just like moving on from this. He, now that I've been called out for it, he can no longer stand for my, my previous behavior. Anyway. Uh, this, this train, indeed, Ultra Corgi, has absolutely jumped the tracks. Um, but my point, twice, scuffed your Jordans twice. Oh, I have apologized to this. Okay, we're moving on. What I think is really interesting is that there are people who are so jazzed about districts now, in this very thread, are like, this doesn't make sense, this doesn't sound like first, this is ridiculous. Um, there are some really, really good points in here that are, you know, brought up specifically around the points and the culture change awards within this thread that I I do think were addressed appropriately. Like the concern was brought up and it wasn't a bad concern. Um, but there's a really nice little piece in here uh, in, in Carol from 365's post. It's easy to say, this is changing everything and I don't like it, but unless you want to change the number of teams or want to freeze the number of teams, but I want to kind of redact that statement. Unless you do something about it, something will change. So instead of griping, I challenge you to suggest better workable solutions. And the reason I want to point that out um, is because people still say this on Chief Delphi every single day. Um, for the like for the history of the thread, I was, as soon as Karthik brought this thread up, I went, oh God, I didn't post in it, right? Because I was also originally from the concept very against districts. I have always, like this was, way back when in 2008 i was very very anti smaller unpolished events um, been proven mostly wrong at most. i'll hang on to like the tiniest threads of that i still want some production value adjustments but i sat there and i read about districts i read about this pilot program in michigan and i went what the hell is this like this doesn't first events um hung up on like idea of like the, insp the inspirational value of like the flashy production. Um, but I'm a coach, I'm lead mentor of a team who is in districts and the changes that districts have had on our team have been so overwhelmingly positive, right? Everything that we're doing is allowing for a better design process where we can keep working event to event. It's not just your single event and you're done, right? There's so much about this system that I've come around on. Um, there's still stuff I change, but what I what I really want to point out with this thread is that it's it reads a lot like threads about districts in 2017, 2018. And things happen in FRC that change all the time, all the time. We do so much adjustment of event structure and tournament structure and all of these different things. Um, four years out from that big thing that you think is destroying everything about the first you know and love, there is a, like I said earlier, there's a complete turnover of program participants, not the mentors, not the volunteers, but the students who are the, the participants in the program. We can talk about being a volunteer. We can talk about being a mentor as a program participant, but truly FRC is a, for, like, is the, the students in the program completely turnover. Um, and for, like, what the biggest piece this was for me was when we transitioned from districts or two districts in 2012 in Mar. I was not happy about it. Um, and now I'm a full class plus of students out and my students don't know the difference. Yes, the couple of students in the middle there that played in regionals and who played in the district system were like, I don't know if I like this as much. Or nah, nah, nah. But now this is what they know. Um, and the reason I bring this up, like I said, is there's these things that come up on Chief Delphi, what seems like monthly at this point, that everyone gets up in arms about and like the sky is falling and everything is on fire. It's the like the ultimate like this is fine. Um, and a couple of years out from now, it's what we're going to know as the norm. Um, and I I feel like the next time first announces something and you feel like the sky is falling and you want to be a crazy raging person on Chief Think about how two or three years from now we're going to record you on train wrecks in first history. No, I'm kidding. Um, about what that, like, kind of think a couple of years out, think some space out here. Um, and I, I really, I think it's a fun look back at a gut reaction to something that ended up being really, really good. Um, 
that if we had really sat there and dwelled on how awful this was going to be and how it was going to ruin first, we would not have this incredible growth program that we do now. Um, but I've rambled enough. I will let Karthik contribute his thoughts. I, I think that was the longest uninterrupted rant on. <laughs> on. That's what this segment is for, though. That's what this segment is for, because we want to, you know, inspire what these train wrecks bring us. Um, yeah, this thread, you know, I, I have less to say about districts because I think, you know, we just, I, you know, districts are what they are at this point. And I think we know the pros and cons and we debated them on this show time in and time out. But um, I, I guess what really got me on this thread was it's like how the sky is falling, the sky is falling, everyone was about things. And I, I get it, like changes are big, but like to, to make statements like, you know, this point system means that gracious professionalism is going to like, banished from the program is just so absolutely crazy and, and like I'm sure that there was a, there were a lot of us and myself probably included who probably said the same thing about two champs uh when it came out that was something where people just like automatically and I still don't like two champs but I definitely can recognize that it's not the end of the world um for like, teams didn't quit because of two champs that's certainly for sure like and you know first just keeps on happening and that's fine so like maybe just kind of before you post on the Chief Delphi, I remember, like, whatever's on the internet is going to stay on the internet, and you know, it's going to look silly in the future. But also, I don't know, give these changes a chance. Um, when FIRST is making changes, they're never doing them to try and hurt the participants. They think they're trying to make things better, and uh, hopefully they are. But um, also, like, there's just, there's comedy in this thread. I just, I, I can't get over it. Like it just you read it and you're just like, this is so ridiculous. I can't believe we thought these things ten years ago. But I also think it's hilarious that the people still I I mean, like Libby said, we had hesitations about districts. I think everyone did. And so now today there's people who still have hesitations about districts. But I think it's so easy to be hesitant about districts from the outside looking in. And I think it's that's something we should all remember that to not criticize something too hard, at least until we've tried it out. Because, you know, um, oysters look really gross, but they're actually tasty. Yeah, exactly. No, and I think um, there's a couple other points uh, from chat. One is a, it's a, there is a different system now. But I think it leads to what I wanted to say is that what we got as districts is not what was described in that thread, right? There were changes. There were adjustments, especially to the point system um, when things changed to universal points. Well, and also, hold on. Sorry, the chat, they said it's a totally different system. It is not totally different. The point values were tweaked by, like, a couple points here and a couple points there. Yeah, no, exactly. But there are differences. And part of the reason I wanted to point that out as a chat comment is that one of the things when you see something like this and you want to post on Chief Delphi about it, rather than doing this like gut reaction, emotional response, it's going to ruin first, ruin gracious professionalism. Oh, no. Why are we doing this one? Um, I was literally going to leave do champs out of this. Um, but rather than just gut reacting to, um, you know, this is gonna be horrible and I hate this, it's ruining first, gracious professionalism is dead. Well, what about that constructive, hey, instead, what about this option? And there are things that first is not gonna do with that feedback, like they're not just gonna snap their fingers and reverse what you don't like, but it's important to be able to discuss these things as a community without making things an emotional, reactive, call-out kind of discussion. Because one of the reasons that this thread is in tra on Trainwrecks and First History as our inaugural thread is because of the like emotional responses and like, I dare you to go up to this person um, and, and do that kind of stuff. So it, it's all sorts of silly. 